What's up, guys? Polly Popo here. I'm going to get a little better at that whole intro thing. Um, what's up, guys? Polly Popo here. I'm going to get a little better at that intro thing. And uh, yeah, little by little, day by day, right? Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you a couple of different ways to use the random um, the random generator on your NPC. Uh, it's really overlooked, and I think it's a cool way to be able to find sample because most of the time whenever I'm trying to make a sample, I get three harmonies that are in the same thing and, and in the same pattern or sequence. You can make a 16-bar sequence and sample it as you whatever you play, but just to get something like it's like going into a, a shelf and just pulling a record and throwing it on there and having a sample to chop up so that's what i'm going to show you on here it's gonna be pretty dope actually and um i don't know i think i think it's a little overlooked so first thing we're going to do is go right into the mpc here and whenever you get in here you go to empty project and for this, all we're going to do is use the plugins. So I'm going to use three different plugins, all right? And just to make this quick, for the first one, I'm going to use this sound. For the second one, for track two, we'll use this sound. And for track three, we'll use this sound. Maybe something different. Okay, cool. That's really distinctively different. Okay, so what we're going to do here, let's go to check one hit the pencil and we're going to generate random events it says pattern size eight bars but you can you can do 16 bars you can do as many bars as you want generate random events pattern size right now it's only at eight but if you close it and you put this at 16 if for some reason you want 16 bars, right? Let's just do 16. Okay, just for the sake of the video, let's just do 16. Um, so, with the pencil. It's repetitive, but repetition is the key. So what do we hit? Generate random events. 16, you can do 8 and then have it cut off or whatever you want to do. But we're going to do 16, 16 note length. So we're going to be nice and short, choppy. Start note, C2 means C in the middle of a keyboard is going to be up two octaves, which is okay. Legato, constrained notes to scale. I'm going to leave that alone. Root note C. If I don't want to play in C, I usually play in C, D, E. This key, I guess, E minor or C, D sharp. But C is cool for what we're doing, just using the MPC on a major scale, and we're going to hit do it. So now whenever you hit your uh, your grid you'll see those events in there it, it made those events okay we're gonna listen to the first thing but all I'm gonna do after this let's listen to this first <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? We're probably going to change that sound. Let's change this to that. Let's do that. Cool. That'll work. So we're going to do track one. Let's go back to the beginning. Hit the pencil. And I'm just going to copy track to two. I'm going to copy track one, hit the pencil, copy track one to three. So now I have three of the same track playing track one has polygreen, track two has plug in two, and track three, plug in three. So now when we plug play all three of them we're gonna have three layers of the random let's slow this tempo down just a little bit to a hundred Thank you. 
see what I'm saying? It kind of gives you... It doesn't sound like much right now, but if you go to... If you were to hit your sampler right now, go to resample, two minutes, 30 seconds, and you hit arm, I'm going to chop it. I do leave the metronome in the back, this way I know where I'm at. Kind of keeps me in time. Let's say we just use that much. New sample, create, non-destructive pads. I'm gonna go to track four, hit the, the drum, because that's where your samples go. And my new sample chops are right there. And then you know where to go from there, guys. You just make some sample chops out of it. Just cool, fun stuff. I thought I would share. And you know what? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a cool way to be able to come up with a, a simple melody. You don't have to have it in 16 steps. You can have it in eight. What I would recommend is if you want to go ahead a step further, go in for track one, set it for C0, track two, C1, track two, C2. This way you have three different octaves, and it's playing the same thing, and, um, it's kind of like what I'm going to do with my modular setup uh, where I have the same thing playing in different octaves and having different effects on each one. So it sounds like different things are playing, but it's the same thing. It's actually a really simple melody just going through a bunch of different stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to cut this one short, but I thought I would just put something out there today using the pencil and hitting the generate random events um, it's really a cool thing and honestly if you slow it down you can come up with some really cool ambient stuff it's it's playing really fast right now but if I slow this down to 60 I play in half time all right so this would be like slowing it down to 30 for you but check it out <laughs> Just some real nice, easy listening, kind of cool stuff. Go to channel mixer here real quick. Let's see for plug-in one. Add some effects. Give it some flavor here. Give it some flavor. There we go. better but from not having nothing turning on your mpc and being able to have something maybe you want to resample it this slow
There's just so much you can do in there, guys. Sorry about that. I just got a little carried away. But yeah, just go in here, hit your sample edit, and mess with them even more. Zoom in here and start chopping up your stuff. You can really get into the, the real nitty-gritty here. You can find kick drums and all kinds of cool stuff. I'll show you one kick drum and I'm out of here. Zoom in. There we go. Little big guy. Let's grab that. Nothing, right? I'm going to go in here. Channel mixer. Got a little bit of something. That was fun. All right, guys. I'm Polly Popo, and I'm out of here for the day. Um, 